we have a perfect location in Florida. There's enough land here to hold all the ideas and land we can possibly imagine. So we have entered off to River Roost at Port Orleans Riverside, of course. This is the resort we're staying at. We have had a wonderful time, a little staycation, and uh, we are about to head over to the Magic Kingdom for some after hours event this evening. Uh, really excited about it. We've never done an after hours event at the Magic Kingdom. We've done DVC after hours events at Magic Hollywood Studios and at Epcot, uh, but never at the Magic Kingdom. So we're really, uh, uh, kind of happy about that gonna have a good time, but we stopped out to uh, have a, a few cocktails before we head over Melinda of course with her staple pina colada and um, I am a bourbon man, so um, smoked turkey um, And uh, what a great drink same drink I had last night when we were at uh, boat rides wasn't it? Wonderful just an so, all-around great drink I recommend it highly. You're not going to get a really, really massive bourbon taste, which I like, but it's very smooth and uh, very refreshing. So um, here's to you. We'll see you when we get at the Magic Kingdom. We have made it to the Magic Kingdom. If you can't tell behind me, the uh, clouds have kind of uh, opened up. And um, it's been raining for about the last 45 minutes. Um, we are kind of in line, making sure that we have uh, everything in line. We've already got our bracelets, of course, for the After Hours event. Um, now, there is a lot of guests coming out of the theme park, as you can see, just because it is raining. And it is, no, it's not pouring, but it is a steady, steady rain. With that being said, it is taking a little bit more time to get through the lines just because people are trying to duck out of the rain. We are uh, about to head on into Main Street and uh, with ponchos and of course, we actually have umbrellas too. So uh, we've come prepared, we just, uh, it's not rained, really rained in quite some time in Central Florida. Uh, my yard at the house is brown. Even with sprinklers, it's brown. So. We're actually happy for this, but not so much for an after hours event. But it is supposed to taper down after 10 o'clock once that starts. It is just now about 8.35, so uh, we've got a little while to that happen. So stick around and uh, come along with us. So we have made it into the Magic Kingdom, of course, and we are walking down Main Street. The rain has stopped. It's going uh, a little bit before 9 o'clock. Of course, the fireworks do take place at 9.15. Um, you would normally have everyone on Main Street just slammed right now, already waiting for the fireworks, but it's been raining pretty heavy, so a lot of people have left. And you do have the after hours party tonight, which we are here for that. And with that taking place, you have a lot of people already leaving because they don't want to stand around getting wet. But with that being said, we have plenty of things to do until 1 o'clock in the morning. So uh, stick with us and uh, let's have a good time together. It's only 55,000. Got to get that next time.
it's only twenty-one thousand dollars. Oh my God! Attraction number one is going to be the people mover. Then we're going to do carousel progress. We already have a return time for uh, the Haunted Mansion. So the fireworks haven't even went off at 9.15 yet. So we are way ahead of the curve. Um, and we're also going to grab something to eat. And as Peter Pan would say, and away we go! <laughs> I'm Mark Five, your guide aboard this highway in the sky, the absolute best way to see tomorrow. And my stars, they're ever lots to see. From spacecraft to monster, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. right behind us the fireworks show is starting starting about five minutes late but it is starting We are heading over to Pecos Bills just to see if we can grab a bite to eat. The uh, After Hours event will start shortly. We are uh, pretty much uh, ready and stoked for that. We see all the treat carts out already just waiting to uh, do receive snacks. Um, I think uh, soft drinks, uh, popcorn, and uh, Mickey bars. Uh, and there may be some other ice creams involved, but we will find out. But that's kind of what we are waiting on. Tiana's Bayou looks really cool. It, it's all lit up. We're going to get some pictures of that once we get over there. It looks really neat from here. Um, it is lit up. I'm kind of excited and stoked about that. So come along with us. Now, it is about, what, 3 or 4 to 10? 5 till. Okay, 10. I'm going to give you a shot of this, of uh, what we're looking at uh, crowd-wise. That is a lake. Thank you. 
the uh, crowds are starting to diminish pretty quickly. The fireworks are over, everyone's leaving, the park closes in just a few minutes. And then if you don't have your uh, wrist bracelet on, you cannot get gain access to an attraction. So uh, um, let's see how this goes. We're already three attractions down since we've been. And let's see how many more we can get in. Come along. are going to start taking in some of the attractions that are available for this evening for the next few hours so uh, this is our first after hours at the Magic Kingdom so we are really really tickled to death and there is nobody back here that is the coolest thing about it all but we are going to come back up here we're going to do uh, a few things over here in Adventureland but we are making our way to Casey's right now and our food's about ready this is actually really neat. There's hardly anybody here. This kind of reminds me of back when the uh, pandemic was taking place and we would come and spend time at the Magic Kingdom. And of course, not an after hours event or anything like that. Not that I would wish for that to ever to happen again. But those nights were actually very relaxing and uh, we just walked on everything and that has basically been what it's been tonight so we've done haunted mansion we did carousel not car we carousel progress we've done um the people mover we've done the jungle cruise we've done pirates of the caribbean and we've done nothing but walk on each one of those we are going now to see the fireworks at 11 o'clock and we can literally walk up to the front of the castle to be able to watch this. So we are kind of stoked about that. So we're basically eating ice cream, popcorn. We've got sodas. We actually had Melinda drop when she opened her ice cream, Mickey ears. It literally just fell out onto the ground. There were cast members came from everywhere from behind us that literally came up and grabbed her ice cream up off the ground and said, stay here, we're gonna go and take care of this for you. And they did, they went and got the um, ice cream for her. And uh, we're gonna make sure we're doing a shout out for them because they were just spectacular. Kind of Johnny on the spot, as all cast members are. We're all so fortunate to have these great people around us. So, with that being said, we do have the fireworks here at 11 o'clock and we're down to about, what, three, four minutes and uh, we'll be ready to go. So
because you are the magic. just got off of the jungle cruise again uh, not a lot of people here a lot of people left after the 11 o'clock fireworks didn't they it was uh, kind of weird but uh it's been fun we've had a great time I don't know what we're gonna go do now but whatever it is we oh Pirates of the Caribbean again um, we have pretty much done everything we wanted to do and we just walked on really um, it was fun not complaining one bit so we are heading on to pirates and i will give you a shot there's no one here We've done everything we wanted to do, even Tron. Uh, really neat. Um, there's nobody here. We're going to do a, a walk down Main Street, and I'm going to give you a shot of that. Hey, so uh, like, share, subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and share it with a friend. We do appreciate you. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to give you some uh, uh, sights and uh, sounds as we're heading down Main Street, but uh, it's kind of odd. There's, comment about what they'd want to do if they were at an after 
So, right, yeah. So if you were at a after-hours party, what would you do? Let us know in the comments down below. Just because we kind of think like we did everything we wanted to. I will give you a heads up, though. There was no place to get anything to eat after the normal park hours had closed at 10 p.m. other than Casey's. And we did grab a bite to eat uh, from Casey's, but that was it. There was no other way to uh, uh, get real food. Um, there was plenty of popcorn, of course, plenty of ice cream, and plenty of sodas. But other than that, not much more. So keep that in mind. You may want to eat dinner. We kind of messed up, but we kind of got busy with some other things. Uh, but we'll remember that for the next time. Bye.